And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, temperatures right now kind of holding steady upper 70s to lower upper 60s to low 70s. 72 in Delphi, 68 Logan Sport, 74 Winnemac, Lafayette, 70 up in Remington. Let's get right to radar. We're having this just weak band of light to moderate falling rain move through, but I want to focus right now behind the storm. There, this line of showers, a little storm there near Champaign, but notice how a little bit cloudy still in central Illinois. Seeing some breaks of the clouds in Missouri. We may see some of those breaks later on this afternoon, but it still looks fairly cloudy. Notice some breaks in the clouds uh, just north of Champaign. That's where we may see a few peaks of sun here and there. That'll really help boost our temperatures up, but the rain kind of falling up toward Jasper County, White County, up toward Chalmers, Brookston, Monticello, get ready for some rain. Uh, Francisville, Madaryville, get ready for some rain to move in. Winnemac here within the next 30 minutes or so. Even here in Lafayette, getting ready to see those rain showers here in West Lafayette as well. So far, western portions of Tippecanoe County seeing the rain and up 65 as well toward Remington. Uh, but this will continue to move to the east. Futurecast doing a good job of placing where that line of showers is. It's not showing as impressive or as uh, uh, intense, but we will see this move off to the east, kind of dissipate. This model is wanting to bring in a little bit more showers and storms here by 430, but I'm going to keep it scattered after this line passes. As we may see a few breaks in the sun. If we do, it'll warm up quickly into the mid to upper 70s. We may hit that 80 degree mark, but notice here, this is 11 o'clock. We're mostly clear, maybe just a spotty shower or two, but here after about uh, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, we'll be watching very closely what happens in Illinois. Storms will likely develop and travel off to the east. It's kind of breaking up here right across the loft yet, but I think we will have a better chance just of a line of uh, complex of storms will be monitoring over the viewing area uh, by 530. Some could be strong to severe moving off to the east, but tomorrow very sunny. It's going to be muggy and then kind of round two works in after six to eight o'clock. Here's the cold front moving in. This is 930 that passes out and moves out of the viewing area and we left with more sunshine for Saturday. Maybe a spotty shower to Saturday afternoon. Storm Prediction Center late tonight. Main time from about 12 a.m. to about five o'clock in the morning. Maybe push back to maybe six. Well, again, watch it very closely. A lot depends on how uh, the weather this morning and this afternoon will impact tonight's weather. So you'll want to be sure to tune in with Ch tonight with Chief Meteorologist Chad Evans. Level two slight risk for Lafayette and westward. Level one marginal risk. Damaging winds will likely be our main threat, as well as the storms tomorrow with that cold front from eight o'clock to about one o'clock in the morning Saturday. We'll be watching that line once again. So I'm just going to keep a chance in for some showers and storms for the afternoon hours. We'll have some peaks of sun. Some folks won't get very much rain. Some folks may even get about a half an inch to maybe an inch and a half by Saturday, potentially even Sunday. But tomorrow, expect a sunny afternoon. Highs in the mid upper 80s. Pretty warm and muggy, but those storms will be likely here scattered here by 8 o'clock. Future cast Saturday afternoon. It looks more bark than bites and just scattered isolated showers as these kind of are wrapping around the upper level low continues here for Sunday and then we are dry from Monday there out for the rest of the 7 and 10 day 81 Saturday 82 Sunday and as we get toward early next week we'll continue with the dry weather 82 Monday 83 on Wednesday and likely getting up into the mid to upper 80s as we get toward the later portion of next week but certainly looking dry after Sunday Stacy and we need some rain so it's a good thing we definitely need the rain here across the viewing area we've only seen about a tenth of an inch or so you know since uh, August 2nd so yeah. we need the rain we're it's, not going to get a downpour though just we, some there may be a few downpours across the viewing area the next uh, 48 hours uh, so yeah. hopefully those lucky few will get some good rain it would be nice for our lawn because they're pretty getting pretty brown yeah, a little crunchy a little for crunchy sure. yes not fun to walk on right now definitely not no <laughs> a little hard <laughs> All right, thanks, David. Yeah. Well, if 